your kids and mine are definitely playing Roblox. It's a $45 billion with the B game. I prepared the video to show you what my, what my kids and your kids are doing. And we talked a little bit more about how Roblox makes money. This way, the next time you talk to your kids about Roblox, um, you won't be like Reese Witherspoon was in the video that we just saw. If you have kids who are under 13, either male or female, they're definitely playing Roblox. Roblox IPO'd in March of 2021 at $45 billion with a B. On February 2020, just before lockdown of COVID, it was valued at $4 billion. So in one COVID-infused year, Roblox went from a valuation of from $4 billion to $45 billion. So what is this multi-billion dollar game that our kids are playing? Technically, it's not a game. It's a series of virtual worlds that our kids step in and step out of. Roblox creates opportunities for creators. When I say creators, I'm not talking about the fashionista influencers that you and I follow and interact with on Instagram. I'm talking about those who create games within Roblox. And they're using something called Roblox Studio, even if they don't have any development experience. 10 years ago, creating a game required extensive coding experience. But with games like Roblox, you don't need that. That's why a lot of 20-year-old kids now make 10 to, to $50,000 a month from games on Roblox. So how do the creators make money? Using Robux. Robux is a term between Roblox, the name of the game, and the colloquial term of bucks, dollars. So a Robux is the currency inside of the game where you use real cash, so a debit card and whatever, a credit card, whatever you pay for uh, the units, and it, 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 uh, they convert to Robux. What your kids and I spend their Robux on is the Robux subscription, the same way you pay for Netflix every month. There's a Robux subscription within uh, Roblox. Uh, it's called Roblox Premium. And also our kids buy virtual items, shirts, eyeglasses, vehicles, a bunch of things. So uh, what Roblox does is it shares a percentage of that revenue with the creators. So what makes Roblox successful versus others? There's a lot of options for the kids. So uh, it could be fashion, it could be playing, it could be shooting, it could be building, any combination of art, music, creativity, and pure fun. Uh, another aspect of why it's popular is you can easily invite your friends you invite them in and they just show up like this in your in your game without any additional downloads or fancy load times. If you want to talk to your kids about the popular games that they play, Adopt Me is definitely one of them. There are billions of usage of it. With Adopt Me, it, the premise is simple. You, uh, the player uh, adopts a pet and they dress it and they feed it and they take care of it. What I like about such virtual worlds from a business perspective, other than the $45 billion valuation obviously, is there's a whole ecosystem around it. So you have the players, our kids, you have the creators of the, of the game, uh, they have some developers who help them, but not necessarily. Um, you have us as parents who are paying for the Robux or the devices uh, that the kids play with. Uh, there are countless and countless of YouTube uh, uh, channels that are dedicated to this and those YouTube channels have uh, creators behind them who talk about the games, who benefit, who make money from uh, those YouTube videos. So there's a huge ecosystem uh, that's around it. There are kids like my kids and your kids, fast forward six, seven years, they end up creating games, not only consuming them. That's what I hope for my kids and yours. This is the face of a confused adult who's trying to figure out uh, a game that is not for an adult. So if you want to talk to your games about the... <laughs> talk to your games. Talk to your kids. We talk to our kids about their games, not our games. Yalla. Another thing for our games is... Uh, for our games. <laughs> for our kids. Rakis.